Hello guys, welcome to my channel and my first proper video. Today I'll be showing you how I create my terrain in Fortnite creative like this example here. And yes, this is my real voice. Terrain is always one of the harder things to create in creative, so I'm going to show you how I make mine. Here's the terrain in my battle royale map which will be coming out soon. Now I know the quality of this video could be better, but this is the best I can do for now. I hope you learned something from this so let's get straight into it. Enjoy the video. Okay, so here are the pieces I use for my nature and terrain. You can use whatever trees rocks and terrain you like, but I'm going to be using chapter 2 pieces. When I create maps I usually draw a sketch of what it should look like. This helps you when creating your terrain because you'll have a better idea of how you want it to look. I'm only going to use these two terrain pieces in this tutorial. Now grab this piece and make it as big as you can. This lets us have more terrain, whilst saving memory. I place those walls so that when I match the piece up with the floor piece, I am able to build on it. Now copy and paste it along where you want your terrain. You can do it like this. Or like a god pro gamer like me. Epic. I should probably slow down. Here you can see I'm taking my time carefully placing each piece. Oh no I messed up. There we go. This shows you how patient you should be when building. Place one here. Oh no I am running again somebody stop me. Okay that is enough messing around. Here you can see my basic terrain. Now we're going to create a hill. Place floors and a floor piece at the top so that you can match your terrain piece with it like I show you. This allows you to properly build on top of your terrain. Remove the wood after you've placed your terrain. Now we will form the shape of our hill. Once you get the right outline that you want for your hill, grab a floor piece. Resize it so that it fits into remaining gaps in the terrain. Using these larger floor pieces instead of corner pieces allows us to save memory which is important. Here's an extra thing to improve the look of your hills and make them more sloped. I'd recommend doing this if you have the memory and the patience. Grab a sloped piece and slant it facing away from you. Take your time to place it into the hill to give it a sloped look. If you put the time and patience in it can come out like it did here on the example I made for the video earlier. I quickly added a larger hill and now I'm going to show you how I raise my terrain from one layer to a higher layer. I'll usually grab the corner piece again and create more terrain but raise it higher and higher as I show you here. You want to be able to walk up it so don't raise it too high every layer. Place a floor to show how high you want to go and keep raising the terrain layers until you get there. This is the way I like to make my terrain. and you can still walk up it to the top. Now onto the nature. Firstly I start by placing the rocks, which I separate into two different categories. The first ones are cliff rocks, and the second are just rocks. Cliff rocks are the rocks I place along hills and cliffs. They add more texture and detail to the hills, whilst also being a source of material. Once I've placed these I will place the normal rocks around the terrain. Here's a tip, don't use too many different types of rocks as they'll take up way more memory. In this tutorial I use the same 4 rocks over and over again. I'd recommend sticking to between 5 and 7 different types of rock, but that's entirely up to you. And here are all of my rocks placed. Now if you want more rock decoration, I also recommend using the shark rock gallery. I either use this type of shark rock as spikes coming out of cliffs or hills, which can be a nice extra detail. Why can't this text to speech bot say rock properly? Wait no, this is my voice, not a text to speech. Or I'll use them as slopes which work. If you really feel like it, you can even use the shark rock from the shark rock gallery to make a shark rock mountain. That's a lot of shark rocks. And I lost the footage of me placing these, but these slab shaped rocks are really nice for terrain and for detail. 
And finally, onto trees and bushes. There's actually a type of bush which I forgot to show you, which can be found in the new haunted house galleries. I start by placing big bushes. The main thing to remember with these is to not have them too close to each other unless it's a bushy area. Same applies to the small bushes but again this is all entirely up to you. Next up are the big trees. The amount of big trees depends on what you're going for. I'm going to stick to 4 for this area but I think that might be too crowded for what I want. I usually place small trees either in groups of 3, 2 or on their own. These fit under the large trees nicely so this also depends on you. And yes, 4 big trees were too crowded for me. And that wraps up this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Leave any comment ideas or tutorial request in the comments below. And subscribe for more. My Battle Royale Season 1 should be dropping sometime in the next few weeks so keep your eye out for the Season 1 trailer. And again. Thanks for watching. Join the Discord in the description.